the marquee event for me, the ladies at Worlds. Well, well, well. Um, you know what? I felt like both the senior and the juniors for women skating at Worlds this year was everything that I love about skating. I'm not saying it was perfect. I still had to give a side eye to more than one of the ladies placement in the short program. I won't call out names, but let's say someone from the U.S. Figure Skating Federation had lunch with the right judge and caller. However, despite that, it wasn't so egregious that I was holding my head in complete disbelief. This was not a Teddy bonus making up for the fact that no triple triple combination was to be seen. Also, the joyous and relaxed atmosphere that I had been missing for the past six years in ladies figure skating was finally back. I love seeing how happy the skaters were. I'm sorry, but I will take, I, I, but I'm, I, I don't want pre-rotated quads and terrifying children on my screen. I would much rather see skaters who are doing clean triple triples with a full program uh, secure in themselves and happy with what they're doing any day. Unfortunately, Women figure skating has become so toxic. And it's sad, but it literally took a complete television breakdown of three children for us to finally say, you know what? This is not healthy. You know what? Child abuse and, ch and child doping should not be a thing. We literally had to watch it live along with millions of others for us to finally say, let's take a moment and try to get away from this. I really think the women here delivered for me. Um, Kari Sakamoto is just having the time of her life. And for me, she was really the only bright spot for the whole women's event at the Olympic. To see her hard work rewarded at World was just so nice. What's even better, because she is in a physically healthy environment, this is only the start for her. I can see her at the 2026 Olympic. Going to three Olympic is possible for her. And that just speaks volume because making it to one Olympic is such an ordeal for skaters that are in incredibly gifted skaters that are probably once in a lifetime skaters cannot even make it into one olympic because of how physically unhealthy their environment are kauri for me is the perfect example of what skating could be as opposed to the you know disposable assembly line champion that the isu want figure skating to become Another mature young woman with a promising future with silver medalist Luna Hendricks. How amusing is it to have women on the podium at women figure skating? How amusing is that? Ted must have been rolling in his grave. 22 year old, 21 year old, poor Ted. Missing his beloved 13 year olds, I'm sure. Even though Luna is injured right now, I'm expecting her to make a full comeback and come back even better next season. The only teenager that was on the podium was the one and only Alyssa Liu. And you know what? What an end to a diff difficult season. As for those who want to point at Alyssa retiring and comparing it to the Teddy girls, Alyssa can still turn left and right. And she can also bend her back. Alyssa can come back to skating if she wants because her body was not drugged, starved, and destroyed. If you don't understand the difference between having the right to choose to stop and having to stop because your body has physically broken down by the time you're 18, then there's nothing I can really say to you.
I know you know the difference and you just want to live in your world of delusion and I'm going to leave you there. But I'm so happy for Alyssa. She came to term with her career the way she wanted and now she's stopping because she feel like she's achieved what she needed to achieve. Not for anyone else, but for herself. And then we have the Korean ladies. Both Yu Young and Lee Honey came and they did what they needed to do. And they got Korea three spots for next season and I could not be more excited. I really, really hope like the Korean ladies work on showcasing their skating next season. We know they have the jumps. We know they have the um, skating skill, the, the spin. Everything is there. We just need it to come together with the it factor. They each need to be their own individual skaters and make us all stop and say, yes, that's it. I was also happy to see Anastasia um, Gabanova score start to reflect her skating. After changing federations, the judges really tried to bury her. And now with the absence of the Russian ladies, I feel like the, the judges are like, okay, we'll let you have your, your scores in international co competition. We're no longer going to punish you. So I really, really want to see what she can do next season if she can continue to grow and if the judges will continue to give her the scores that she probably deserved like seniors women's junior was a palate cleanser the korean ladies are making a firm statement both in juniors and in seniors but the ones who took the medals here was the u.s taking home both the gold and the bronze. So we had Isabel winning the gold and then we had um, Lindsay winning the bronze. Now with Alyssa retiring, I already see US figure skating pushing Isabel right into the next national title. I mean, aside from Alyssa now retiring, we don't know what Mariah Bell and Karen Chen will do. We don't know if they'll continue or if they won't. In that case, the U.S. may actually find itself with only junior ladies next season. And if that happened, I know they're going to push full speed ahead to try to get Isabeau's scores, both technical and PC, as high as it possibly can go. And while I think Isabeau is a beautiful skater, she's musical, she's balletic, I don't have much faith in her jumps. Unfortunately, her technique is a little too like the Iteri back wrenching bent over method. That technique does not support longevity and it rarely survived puberty. I think they need to send her to a jump specialist pronto to start reworking her technique. As for Lindsay, she has solid jump technique and nice speed, good spin. However, her ice presence, her packaging, her program choice all need help honestly i would send her to brian Osar and tracy wilson and have her take every tracy edge class that is available i know the u.s are going to put all their eggs in one basket and push for isabel however i think they should try to push for both simply get each one of them the help that they need but the star of the show for me was miss jia shen just beautiful jump technique, good ice presence, nice packaging, everything that I just love about skating. I feel like Gia has that it factor and I can only hope that she continues to grow. For me, although I would have had Gia in first place, I'm not that like baffled by why the judges would have put Isabel in first place. I feel like with the war, um, you know, continuing with Russia and Ukraine, we just don't know what figure skating is going to look like for ladies next season. But I feel like this is a great opportunity for federations like Korea, like Japan, like the U.S. to really grow their program. I feel like figure skating has really gotten a reset in terms of the ladies. And I really hope all of these skaters take 
full opportunity to make the best of this opportunity.